So Trump indicted years uh, of fighting uh, civil suits, uh, broke. That's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So, right, do they have what it takes now? Has Cassidy Hutchison opened the doors all the top cabinet officials are are testifying. They're telling what they know, and uh, somebody's going to get um, immunity. Uh, and can you say um, John Eastman or Mark Meadows? So let's see what the cards have to say. Trump is done. It's just uh, now going to be a very slow roast. So that's what we'll do today. Trump indictment, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to use this uh, Mystical Medley's Tarot. I love these cards, and what's cool about them is that they've got this neat little way that they open right here. And uh, when you flip it open, you see this Baphomet, this kind of um, symbol of, uh, um, uh, of uh, gosh, what was it that the uh, Knights Templar would uh, supposedly worship uh, this uh, devil kind of guy. These come out like this, and this will be a fun deck. To use. Look at that. Fun deck to use for this. Uh, let's see if I can remember how everything comes out. There's a couple of extra cards in here. There's Sad Squirrel and Happy Squirrel. So I have to remember to divine those when they come up. Let's stick this back in. Okay. So, yeah. So what's happened is everyone has been spilling their guts on Trump, okay? And uh, somebody is gonna need some protection. And it's probably gonna be uh, Mark Meadows, I can think of. Uh, the attorney, John Eastman, is he gonna spill his guts? He would be the perfect one because he had the plan. So, although we've got the fellow that uh, Trump uh, hired to work with Mark, uh, John Eastman, if he made him uh, attorney general, and that was at um, I forget the fellow's name, but uh, he, he has come in and testified also. So he was a fairly new uh, hire, or just not even not necessarily a new hire. I think he was just newly assigned uh, to work with Eastman. So, and then Meadows, Pompeo. Now, what does he know? Although I wonder really what he knows. But all these guys that were asking for, uh, or some of these anyway, were asking for uh, pardons what's going to happen. So, before we do anything, let's have a moment of meditation. Okay. Yeah, it looks like now it's just a matter of time until everything uh, starts coming out. And uh, the fact that uh, Garland has felt comfor comfortable enough to let us know that whoever uh, uh, you know had something to do with that insurrection is going to be um, prosecuted to the full extent. That's pretty good. And then all these folks are the ones who are uh, who have testified. So we're going to do six cards to begin with, and then maybe another four: uh, Trump, insurrection, indictment, conviction, broke for years. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what the cards have to say about all of that. So the signifier card for Trump, insurrection, indicted, broke. First card. Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands is um, like uh, argy bargy, like all everything coming at you at the same time. A lot of commotion. Um, uh, a lot of people uh, usually uh, struggling uh, to get their action, their plan up there first. Uh, that's uh, challenged by what? That's challenged by the government. Oh yeah. So here, everybody is trying to figure out. Here, let me tell you what I know. Let me tell you what I know. I I, I want to get some uh, immunity. Let me tell you what I know. And what are they challenged by? The government. So it's all in the hands of the government. Uh, 
the base of this whole thing then is this King of Pentacles. Oh yeah, the King of Value. So we can look at this maybe as this Trump. He's the base of all this. I think it is. So King of Pentacles. The past of this reading uh, for is the Ace of Cups. So this is a great big uh, offer of compassion, emotion. But look at this. This uh, spooky uh, angel, ghosty angel fella here is looking pretty uh, put back uh, by what he sees. So in the past, we had all this compassion. In the past. In the sky of this reading, we have, and this could be uh, Trump's uh, acolytes, uh, his uh, voters uh, falling to the wayside. Uh, in the sky of this reading, we have the Six of Pentacles weighing out the value, determining who gets the value for what. In this value, we're talking about who gets the blame for this, who gets the blame for that, who deserves a little leniency, who deserves a little um, uh, uh, less leniency. So that's what's in the sky of this. All the accusations and all the indictments. And then the uh, likely outcome of the first part of this with the Seven of Cups is illusion and delusion. And of course it is. Cups are compassion, emotion. This ghost is looking pretty sad. Uh, this fellow doesn't know which one to choose. There's all kinds of, of uh, tricks uh, up on the shelf here. Just waiting to see which one gets chosen. We've got to have four more cards. Okay, so Trump. Indictment. Conviction. Trump. Conviction. That's what I want to know. Do we have... Conviction for Trump. Trump. Conviction. Let's see what the cards tell us. Okay. The very self of that question as to whether there will be a conviction for Trump. Ah, Ten of Pentacles. This is generational value. So what is this talking about? This isn't just Trump. This is going to be the whole empire, maybe the kids, maybe it's, it's that generation that they're talking about, but it's going to be everything that Trump stands for, all of his value is what's at question here. The environment that that's in, all of his value, whoops, I got two. Let me put one here. The environment that it's in is the Nine of Swords, is everything is a nightmare. Yeah, all of his value is tied up in a nightmare. Uh, the, the hopes and the fears, I'll take that card that came with this, is this page of cups. And so the hopes and the fears is that there's some offer of compassion, something that goes along this, with this to save him. So some little offer, and then usually there's a surprise uh, with this page of cups. And then the final outcome for Trump conviction. Look at that death. End of a cycle. Absolutely done. Or some feel that this could be the thing that puts Trump in his deathbed. Either way, it's pretty clear. So just to read it again, um, indictment, sedition, uh, people giving him up. And we start out with this uh, five of wands, which is uh, pointless arguing. Everybody trying to get their plan, wands or plans, actions, forward movement. Everybody trying to get their plan at the top of the pile. And it's challenged by what? The government who gets to make that decision about who's going to get what as far as deals. It's underscored by who? Of course, this King of Pentacles, he thinks, Trump. In the past, we have this uh, great big offer of compassion. That might have been his supporters, his followers, and this is in the past, okay? The compassion they have for him is in the past. They're already, uh, Fox News is already promoting uh, DeSantis instead of Trump. Uh, in the sky of this is a Six of Pentacles, the value determining where does this blame go? Where does the value of this blame go? And then the... Um, the likely outcome of the first part of that, just talking about the sedition, is a seven of cups, illusion and delusion. And uh, this can be, I think this actually is, the defense, trying to figure out what are we going to use to try to fend all of this off. And so then I ask, will there be a conviction? And the first card we get, the very self of that question, is a ten of pentacles, talking about all of that familial, familial wealth is what's at the question here. And it's in the environment of what? A nightmare. This nine of swords, truth, justice, rules, and law, it is a nightmare. And the hopes and the fears for this is that, uh, for Trump at least, is that there's some page, there's some little offer of compassion. There may be some surprise in there that we're, we're not aware of or that puts us all, sh shocks us all. And then the final outcome of the whole thing with this death card is literally that. It's the end of his cycle for Trump. It's over. It's going to be a slow burn. Or could it actually be death? Could that be the thing that saves him? Interesting. So those are the cards today. I hope you liked them. If you didn't, tell me in the comments. Tell me what you thought about the cards. And let me know what you'd like me to read about because I'll read about that. Thanks. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so this is a very interesting uh, deck that I have now called Mystical 
medleys of vintage cartoon tarot. This is such a cool deck, and I've had it for a little while. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's absolutely new, but I've had it for maybe a couple, three weeks practicing with it. And uh, the box is amazing. It's a good, sturdy box. You'd expect uh, you got a nice uh, perfume, uh, perhaps, in a box like this. And this uh, is artwork by Gary Hall. And uh, this is uh, published, I presume, or distributed at least, by Sterling Ethos out of New York. Okay, very interesting minute. What happens is this box opens from the bottom. Okay, so you flip this open and then you have this uh, creature right here, which I've forgotten the name, but I'll see it in a minute because I'm going to look at the guidebook and tell you about it and then bring up the example of it on my phone. But uh, so this is how you open the box from the bottom. That opens down. This slides out. And then now what you have is this inner uh, case with a very faint kind of watermark of this uh, animal on the front. If you look inside the case, and I hope you can see it, uh, inside there is a little uh, star, which for me is temperance. Okay, or it could be the star card itself. It's got two cups, a cup in each hand, which is typical of the star card, finding that balance. And uh, so that's, I love it when they've gone to the trouble to include some little secret uh, treasure for you inside the box. Now, inside here, if you take these cards out, inside this box, we have the sun. Okay, so the sun card. I hope you can see that too. Okay, and there's a little watermark on this side. There's none on the other side, and I'll show you why that's important. The other thing that comes with this card, or this deck, are two extra cards, Sad Squirrel and Happy Squirrel for divination. And the guidebook tells you how you would divine those, and uh, that brings us to uh, the guidebook. So again, this little creature is a very beautifully done kind of book. And um, so if you gave this as a gift, or if you were getting it as a gift, you'd feel very uh, glad uh, that you got it. And it has a nice introduction here, which is speaking to um, Gary's... Um, um, inspirations uh, to coming uh, into this. Uh, uh, and it starts out like so many good stories, it all started with the devil. And that's what that uh, uh, animal uh, signifies here. Um, I've always been fascinated by magic, the cult, and the imagery of the tarot. I own several decks from the fully usable traditional ones to more modernistic, uh, modern artistic ones, and have always dreamed of creating my own in some way. Now, I want to find the name of this little devil here. And uh, so it's going to take me just a minute to read through this. Uh, because, gosh, I can't remember Baphomet. Okay, so the creature that we're looking at then is uh, the Baphomet. That's what this guy is. So if you put these together right here, you see that is the cartoonish uh, depiction of a Baphomet. And let me show you what a Baphomet is. Let's say define uh, Baphomet. And we'll get a picture here. So this is the Baphomet. And this is a, a deity that supposedly the um, the Knights of the Templar would have, um, I don't want to say worshipped, but as, had an occultic interest in. And so the first card that Gary Hall created was that uh, Baphomet. And then from that, the rest sprung. So let's see. How am I going to do the rest of this? Yeah. Um, now, the cards themselves are a good way. They're uh, easy to use. They fit well in your hand. But the fantastic thing is how beautiful these cards are. This artist, Gary Hall, has a kind of ropey uh, quality to his art, kind of a, uh, a rubber hose kind of a, an effect. If you look at like the arms and uh and so that's his uh, style. And, um, and so the cards are very interesting. It took a little bit of uh, studying them before I felt comfortable using them for divination. Okay. And there's no reason because they do pretty easily, uh, they're pretty recognizable as the Rider Waite system. But still, for whatever reason, I, maybe I was just so distracted by the artwork. Um, I spread the cards out like this so that uh, if you don't get to see a lot of cards, then at least you've seen them here. And uh, you can decide. Uh, if these are uh, cards that you like and would like to use. I was always curious to see more than just a few cards that a reader would uh, pull out during the presentation. So there we go. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come, so ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.